there's a program you can do. It takes 15 minutes a day and it will improve your fluency. I'll explain how to do it and the neuroscience behind why it works. Toyomura program to intensive speech therapy as a whole, you can see that the Tony Moore program has some serious advantages over intensive speech therapy. At the end of this training program, the participants spoke more fluently, they spoke more naturally. Did you know that speaking in time to a metronome for 15 minutes a day can improve your fluency. So I usually hate videos or articles that are like, in only 15 minutes a day, you can do X, Y, Z. But in this case, I'm telling you that you can use a metronome to improve your fluency in only 15 minutes a day. And this is coming from a peer reviewed study that included brain scans. So this is not some gimmick or wacky idea. And I'm not doing this to like sell your product that I'm going to make money off of. The truth really is there's a program you can do. It takes 15 minutes a day and it will improve your fluency. I'll explain how to do it and the neuroscience behind why it works. One of the quirks of stuttering is that someone can be very disfluent while speaking on their own. But if they speak in time to a metronome, as I was doing earlier, they'll become perfectly fluent. This is also true for what's called choral speech where you speak in time with another person. If you and a friend are reading aloud at the same time, or if you imagine back in school when the whole class would recite the Pledge of Allegiance, that too will induce pretty much perfect fluency. Now these cause near perfect fluency because they correct for a timing issue in the brain of stutterers. Your brain needs to coordinate the timing of your neurological processes, or else those processes will break down. If, for example, you imagine doing a jumping jack, you'll be moving all four limbs at the same time. Instead, imagine doing a jumping jack, but you start each limb at a different time. Imagine doing that and landing on your feet and not tearing your ACL. To coordinate the actions involved in speech, in speech production, your brain relies on two timing circuits, the internal timing circuit and the, and the external. The internal timing circuit works by tuning into an internal signal. The cortex of the brain, what do you usually think of as the brain itself? The outer shells will coordinate into the basal ganglia, a signal in the basal ganglia, which sits at the base of the brain. All of the different areas up here listen to the basal ganglia in the center. The external timing circuit is, works when your brain tunes into an external signal, such as a metronome or as other people's speech. To demonstrate each of these in action, I'm going to copy a task that's often used in these academic studies. I will tap my finger in time to a metronome, which will test my external timing circuit, and then the beat will stop, and I'll try to maintain that same pace on my own, which will test the internal timing circuit. So for stutterers, the external timing circuit is fine when I was tapping along to a metronome. But the internal timing circuit, when I was tapping by myself, that is liable to break down. And those issues in the internal timing circuit can disrupt speech production in the brain and lead to blocks. So when you tune into a metronome and speak in time to a metronome, you're replacing the faulty internal timing circuit, the healthy external timing circuit, which leads to much better fluency. A Japanese researcher, Akira Toyomura published a study in 2011 that found that stutterers underactivated the basal ganglia, but the activation was raised during choral speech and especially during metronomic speech. He then published a study in 2015 that took this idea even further. He had participants do regular metronome training for eight weeks. And by metronome training, I mean deliberate metronomic speech, where in this study, they spoke one syllable per beat. At the end of this training program, the participants spoke more fluently, they spoke more naturally, and then they had normal levels of basal ganglia activation during speech. This is major news. This is another way to improve fluency, and it even has certain advantages over traditional speech therapy. Well, let's get into the program he used. In this study, the participants, I'm calling it Toyomura program, in honor of Akira Toyomura, who led both of these studies. And he also, while I was writing the book, I reached out to him asking for some of his papers, he sent me his own academic papers plus a few other ones. So this training regimen is what we're going to call the Toyomura program. This was not named by Toyomura. I'm naming it after him in, in honor of the work he did as a 
gesture of respect. I think this is a very important study, and I, I believe he deserves to be acknowledged for that. This program, which as far as I know, he devised himself, the participants would practice metronomic speech for 15 minutes a day, five days a week, for eight weeks. Now, there are participants that did more than the minimum, either more time per day or more days per week, and they got even better results than the ones who just did the basic amount. The participants started reading at 90 beats per minute, but as they got more comfortable with the training program, they increased their beats per minute. Most of the participants ended up after eight weeks leveling off around 120 beats per minute, which is the rate that I was speaking at during the interim. Now in the book, I also discussed a 1976 paper by John Paul Brady, who did a metronome training program too. His was slightly different, but had very similar results. And his program also included real world application and maintenance. In the book and in my other videos, I discuss intensive speech therapy, which has also been shown in studies to improve fluency if done the right way. How does metronome training compare to intensive speech therapy? Intensive speech therapy, first of all, it takes a lot more time. The name intensive speech therapy implies spending several hours a day for several days, usually at least one week, sometimes two or three weeks, doing speech therapy. Some of these programs were like 30 to 40 to 50 hours of training compared to metronome training, which only was, was 10 total hours if you did the minimum. And if you consider that intensive speech therapy is several hours per day on repeated days, you basically are forced to take time off work or you have to take off, it is set aside a week of your life or more. Whereas the, the Toyomura program you can fit 15 minutes a day into your day. Like nobody's that busy. You don't have 15 minutes to spare. Another interesting effect was speech naturalness. Many studies have found that intensive speech therapy causes a temporary drop in speech naturalness. And you can find speech naturalness is just whatever a judge in a study thinks it is. Whether that's speech pathologist, a regular person, you just ask them how natural was this person's speech. Participants who go through intensive speech therapy come out speaking more fluently, but less naturally. So even with better fluency, their pre-speech therapy speech more inherently pleasing than the way they speak after speech therapy, which is often kind of a flat affectless speech. And this is very interesting compared to the Toyomura program where participants saw an increase in naturalness. And then I was also surprised by those results because you're speaking a somewhat rigid style, like one syllable per beat. And for that to lead to improved speech naturalness is like very exciting. Financially, a Toyomura program is much cheaper than intensive speech therapy. If you're going to do intensive speech therapy, you may have to travel to a speech clinic. You may have to stay in a hotel several nights, several weeks. Or if there is intensive speech therapy near you, you at least have to drive to and from the speech clinic. And, and that costs money. In terms of expenses, speech clinic, you know, they have to pay rent. They have people on their staff who need salaries, who have bills to pay. That can be somewhat mitigated by doing intensive speech therapy through a computer program. I reference in the book a study from 1995 that used a computer program to deliver intensive speech therapy. So that would be much cheaper. There are also other programs that do speech training, but those as many research studies to fall back on to show their effectiveness or to show results. Now I compare all of that to metronomes. Metronomes are free. I literally downloaded an app onto my phone off the uh, Google Play Store. If you Google metronome, Google will give you a metronome on, on the search results that you can set yourself. So those are effectively free. So as you compare the Toyomura program to intensive speech therapy as a whole, you can see that the a Tony Moore program has some serious advantages over intensive speech therapy. As a recap, people who stutter can use metronome training to improve their fluency. The Tony Moore program has been shown to not only improve fluency, it improves the way stutterers' brains fire during speech, and also improves speech naturalness. If you want to do the Tony Moore program, do metronome training for 15 minutes a day, five days a week, for eight weeks. You should also keep in mind, if you're going to do this, trying to improve your fluency, you should also incorporate real world application and a maintenance program into your training because studies show that if you don't use your new fluency in the real world, you may lose it. You can read about these real world application and maintenance programs in the book, or you can check out my videos on cognitive behavioral therapy. Thank you for watching the Tom Lovett podcast. I hope you found this video interesting and insightful. If you want to learn more about stuttering, check out some of my other videos or read my book, Words Unspoken, The Science, Experience, and Treatment of Stuttering. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching.